friends, Shay here. So today I am here to do a Kindle Unlimited check-in with you. And I'm so excited because I haven't really done one this year. So this is going to be a fairly big check-in. But first, I want to talk about today's sponsor, which is Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa Jewelry is a an amazing jewelry company. As I've talked to you guys before when I've talked about Ana Luisa, I have very sensitive skin. So finding pieces that work for me without irritating my skin has always been very hard. But when Ana Luisa reached out to me a couple of years ago, when the for the first time I worked with them, I fell in love with their products. My skin loves Ana Luisa jewelry, and I don't have to worry about that at all. The care instructions and the care of this jewelry is so simple and so easy. I love all of my pieces from them. They're so easy to take care of. They have easy care instructions on their website if you lose the care instructions at home, and it's easy to keep up with them. I love my pieces. I am almost always wearing at least one piece of Ana Luisa jewelry when I leave the house. Usually it's the studs in my ears. I love these studs. Every time I get studs from them or something that I can easily sleep in, I tend to live in them. I only take them out to clean them. And other than that, they live in my ears and I absolutely love it because my skin doesn't get irritated. And another thing I've struggled to find before are necklaces that are long enough because I kind of have a thicker neck and I love layered necklaces. Ana Luisa makes that easy. I could easily buy extenders for the pieces that I have on today, but um, these ones fit just fine. One's more like a choker and one's a little bit longer and I love that look. So I'm very happy with these pieces. They work very well for me. I also really love the new ring that I got this time. It's a great piece to add to my collection and it's just the right size. Again, care is super simple for that and I love my new cuff. I've been eyeing cuffs for a little while and I'm very excited about this particular one. I finally decided it was time and I will definitely be ordering more ear cuffs in the future because I really love the one that I got. So thank you again to Ana Luisa for wanting to work with me. There's a code down below and I also linked all of the pieces that I'm wearing so that you know where to get them. And I believe you get a little bit of a discount with the code down below. And with that said, let's move into the actual video now. I am going to switch you guys to my webcam so that we can just do it all on the computer so you can see everything just to make it easier. Because if you've ever wondered like where you can check in on this, I'll show you on Amazon where you do that. So let's go ahead and click over to that view and I'll see you guys at this view at the end of the video. Okay. So when you're logged into your Amazon account, you come over to here to accounts and lists and you come over to Kindle Unlimited. Oh, I'm not logged in. Hold on. All right. Now that I'm in there, it shows you your like your subscription and then it will show you here. So I t currently have 20 titles borrowed. So let's talk about my returned ones um for all of this year so far so the hunchback by regine abel i did read this one i really enjoyed this i read this during the amazing readathon so if you want my thoughts on this one i'll let you go and check out that video because i really ended up enjoying it but i tend to enjoy regine abel and this hunchback retelling was really well done um so howl it's done i did not read but i have returned because there were some other things i wanted to check out same with Fierce, which is a sci-fi alien romance. I think some of these were for Stuff Your Kindle, where I just checked them out through KU because I wasn't sure I wanted to own them, but I never got around to reading them, so I returned them. Okay, so let's talk about the Lux Brumalis series. I did check out all three. Um, the first one was on the Stuff Your Kindle, and I read the other two. I really love this series. This is a hockey why choose romance. And I really, really love them. So if you want my thoughts on the first one, Penalty Box, um, there is a video where I did a Stuff Your Kindle vlog, so I will leave that linked for you. I also read Traded for Their Pleasure in that one. Um, I really enjoyed my time. This is technically book 16 in this series, but it's been going on for a long time. These are basically like um, stories that just take place in the same world. So you can jump in anywhere, which is really nice. And I really liked this thruple in Traded for Their Pleasure. So I would definitely recommend checking that one out. The Moonlit Dance by Zoe Abrams. I did read this one. I really enjoyed it. This is the conclusion to the El Elheim, I think, which is duology. I do wish this had been more of a trilogy. So we could have spent more time and flushed a few things out. Or that it had all just been one book. 
because I think it would have worked a little better that way. But I will definitely be picking up more Zoe Abrams in the future because I really love the stories she was telling. This is a Howl's Moving Castle inspired white shoes and it was really well done for me. Um, one that I returned without reading was A Game of Hearts and Heists. Um, I thought about reading this one and then I looked at some reviews and they weren't so great for that one so I ended up returning it. So I may come back to this one eventually but not anytime soon. So if you've read this one and you enjoyed it let me know down below. Then we have Bluebeard's Curse. This is a Bluebeard retelling again done by Regine Abel and I really loved this one. Like the lore of Bluebeard was done really well in this particular retelling and I'm all here for it. So if you have not tried Regine Abel at all, these dark tales where they're kind of just singular stories in a big world might be for you rather than jumping into like her Prime Mating Agency series where there's like eight books or something. These are more like standalone-y, so you might do well with those. The Baker's Wife, I believe May convinced me to check this out, but I never read it, so I returned it. <laughs> I think that's how that goes. Um, but yeah. That's kind of where I'm at with that one. And then we have The Bookshop and the Barbarian, which was a cozy fantasy novel. I did try to read this one and I just wasn't jiving with the writing. So I decided to return it. I feel bad for Morgan Sting. Um, I might try this one again later. It might've just been wrong time for me and I just wasn't quite ready for that kind of a story. But yeah, I might come back to that one. The Fae Princes, um, Vicious Last Boys number four. So. All of my friends that have loved the series with me ended up hating this last novel. So I've kind of put it off and not read it. So I've returned it for now. I might eventually come back to this, but I don't know. The likelihood of me coming back is pretty slim, if I'm honest. So that's where I'm at with the Fae Princess, just so you know. Treasure of the Abyss. This is the Kraken book one. I just had this checked out for a long time and I kept not getting to it. So I decided to return it for now. I'll come back to it like when I'm ready to read it in a short amount of time. Um, then the most recent Prime Mating Agency, which is I Married a Dryad. There is one more that's more of a side novella that I do currently have checked out, haven't read yet. But I Married a Dryad came out. I absolutely adored this one and I would definitely recommend it. That time I got drunk and saved a demon, which is Mean Mishaps number one. I believe this is no longer on Kindle Unlimited, if I remember correctly. But I did have an opportunity to check it out and read it. And to me, it was just fine. I didn't love it like a lot of other people have. Maybe it was just a wrong time thing for me, but it didn't quite work for me. And then I have Eight, which is a erotic novelette by Rilsey Adams. And this one was just a very short novella about a woman who hires a private chef for a particular celebration. Her best friend can't come. So it's her and the chef. Little does she know, the chef is actually the owner of the company and like she's celebrating a big promotion at work kind of thing and it's really hot really steamy I really enjoyed it so if you're just looking for something short and steamy then I would definitely recommend this one then I've got The House Witch by Delmach I'm actually currently reading the second installment in this series right now this is basically a lightly Howl's Moving Castle inspired um cozy fantasy I would say it is humorous there's a lot of fun there's a lot of humor throughout and I had a great time. Finn is a great character to follow and I'm really glad that I'm in the second installment now because there's a lot to offer in this particular series. Now I have to talk about Flawless by Elsie Silver. I, um, <laughs> I have a whole rant video about this one so I'll just leave that to you. So I'm going to leave that linked in the corner um, where you can get all of my thoughts and why I DNF'd Flawless by Elsie Silver. I know, not a popular opinion, but it is what it is. Um, these ones I did also read, like these next, like these next couple, well, the last, these two I read this year. So Rootbound by Tara DeWitt, I ended up really enjoying. I thought it was a really fun kind of cowboy fall romance. Um, so if you're looking for a small town one, I would definitely recommend Tara, this, this Rootbound. I know she has other books that other people have loved, but this was the one that was calling to me and I tried it out and I loved it. Um, Daughter of No World, five stars, absolutely loved and adored. Read this during Amazing Readathon, so if you're interested in that, I'll leave that linked in the corner for you. But yeah, those are all the ones that I've kind of like read or returned this year, as far as I can tell. So let's go to the ones I currently have checked out. 
So did I return? No, I did not. Okay. So let's go to the bottom and we'll work our way to the top on this one. Okay. So Deceived by the Gargoyles by Lily and Lark. I've had this one checked out for like a year, but I know I'm going to love this one. I don't know why I keep putting it off. My friends all tell me I'm going to love it. So yeah, I just need to get to this one. And then I have Finding Forever by Christina C. Jones. I know I want to read more Christina C. Jones, which is why I refuse to return this one. And I'm hoping to get to this relatively soon, just because I really want to read more Christina C. Jones. Then I've got Taken by Varaxia. This is one that Izzy read and really enjoyed from what I remember. And so she had told me to check it out. So I did, and I haven't gotten around to reading it yet. So hopefully soon. I've been kind of feeling the alien romances lately, so I might get to that one sooner rather than later. How to Marry a Marble Marquis by C.M. Nescosta. Anything I've read by C.M. Nescosta I've liked, so I really want to get to this one. I've heard the other ones in this series are not so great, but I do want to at least read this one. So if you've read this one and you think I'm going to like it, tell me down below. The next one is The Gargoyles Captive, which is the next installment in the Deal with a Demon series by Katie Robert. I just haven't gotten to this one yet. No other reason. I just haven't gotten to it. And again, another one I'm hoping to get to soon. All of these I'm hoping to get to soon. Uh, if you're looking, if you want me to do a specific like Kindle Unlimited reading vlog, let me know. And then I have Doom by Regine Abel. This is the first book in her Zion. I'm not sure how she's pronouncing it. Warriors series. Um, this is a series she talks about a lot on her Patreon and I've been morbidly curious. So it's another series by her I want to try. I'm in love with her Prime Mating Agency series. So as long as this one goes well, I think I'll be reading that series as well. And then I have Barbarian's Treasure, which is kind of like a wrap up of this world, if I remember right. And then we go into um, the Ice Home series. Um, so I just need to get around to reading this one. I did start it during the Amazing Readathon, but I didn't keep going. I just ran out of time. And then I talked about this one already, The House Witch 2 by Delmock. Um, I'm really enjoying the second installment in the series so far, and I'm really interested to see how the story is going to evolve from here. And I have Keeping Future Father-in-Law. I do actually have this one physically from the author, um, but I do think I want to read it through KU to give to support them there. And then I might, if I want to annotate or mark anything in the physical copy, I will. But I really loved book one. These are definitely taboo. This is basically... A guy who's engaged to this girl that he's known for a long time, but he's attracted to his father-in-law and the father-in-law is also attracted to him. Like the first book was amazing. I highly recommend checking out the series if you haven't. I'm very excited to keep going. And then I have Blood of the Orc Prince. This is book two in the Orc Prince trilogy. I really loved the first installment, so I definitely want to read this one um, hopefully soon. And then I have Done and Dusted. Um, by Lila Sage. This is one that's been making the rounds in the reading space. And I love me a good small town romance and it's taking place on a ranch. So it's probably a cowboy romance too. So I think I'm really going to love this. I just need to make the time to read it. The next one here I have is The Gardener and the Water Horse um, by Mallory Dunlin. I've been hearing really good things about this particular one. So I think I'm going to get to this one relatively soon and I'm very excited about that. Um, this is a standalone dark fantasy romance. So again, Echoes of the Void, book one. So it looks like they'll all be standalones in the same world. I've seen an alternate cover for this one. I'll insert that here so that you can see. But yes, I'm very excited about this one. This was the other primating agency book I wanted to talk to you about, guys about. This is a novella. And it's I Married a Wanjin. We meet Wanjin in I Married a Minotaur. And so I'm really excited to get the little side story of Wanjin because I fell in love with Wanjin. So I'm so excited she gave that to us. And then I have Choosing Theo. Um, this is one I've had on my KU checkout list for a while. I believe this was a recommendation from Bree over at In Love and Words. And um, I believe it's another alien romance, which I'm very excited about. This one I know was a recommendation from Bree. And that's Eleanor and Gray by Brittany Cherry. Um, I have not read any Brittany Cherry and I've heard this is a really good place to start this one or there's one that takes place at a jazz club. It's between the notes or something. I might try that one instead. So Brie, tell me which one should I do? Tell me down below. Um, and then I have Bonded by Thorns. I have actually read this one now and I'm obsessed. <laughs> 
I love this. This is a Beauty and the Beast White Shoes with the Four Fae Princes. So the um, Spring, Summer, Autumn, Winter Princes, and I'm obsessed. There's a great reveal at the end, and I cannot wait for more. So it's going to be so good because there may be a fifth element here going on, and I'm very, very excited. And then I have Melody Unbound, which is the next one through the Coveted Prey series. Um, but this one is a fairy romance, so it looks like it's a, fa a fairy and barbarians. So I'm really interested to see how this one's going to go. Next, I have the next Elise Kova, which is Duet with the Siren Duke. Um, I have really loved this Married to Magic series. I've loved all three installments so far, so I'm very excited to get around to reading this one. And then I have um, Blind Fate, which is Viridian Chronicles book two. I read the first book, um, which I believe was Defying Fate. Um, that one was a thruple, and I really enjoyed this one, so I do want to continue going in the series. And then the last one I have checked out is book two in the Beasts of the Briar. Um, Izzy and I buddy read the first one. We really want to buddy read the second one. We were originally going to wait till closer to the release date for the third book, but we don't think we can wait that long. <laughs> so we're probably going to read it sooner rather than later. So that is everything. Let's cut to outro shake. So that is my Kindle Unlimited check-in. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Um, again, they are linked down below as well as the particular pieces and a code for you. It is also right here. Editing Shay will add that there. Thank you again so much for checking out this video one more time. If you're here just because you love me, leave me a ring emoji and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. It's been raining for days now I've been running like a child Can't feel the cold Well, I'm lost here with you Lost in the woods Lost as I choose